What's going on guys, my name is Zang, today I'm going to show you how to do the spinning wheel. So it's actually very simple for you to make your application or game that you want. So here is, I'm going to show you the demo. So when I click the mouse button, spin the wheel going to spin and stop at any price. Here is F4, spin it again. And here we have it, the second price. I think I didn't have luck this time. Yeah so it's empty so no price so how to do this i'm going to start from the beginning so that you can see the flow of the uh, project so is that a new scene Remove move this one right so now the first thing first you need to set up your environment so set up your environment just click on ui and going to have an image so you're going to set up your canvas to screen space camera drag your main camera inside this render camera change the constant pixel size to scale with screen size and just put your match width into 0.5 if your image is too small resize it there you go now the next thing is you need to name this as wheel this going to be your wheel image sorry wheel all right duplicate this thing put it as arrow so we have arrow here you need to have your sprite so you just put your sprite there and then move it to the top change the risk change the size a little bit and then there you go all right so for the wheel I'm gonna use the X plot X slice of wheel for this demonstration okay a little bit just right there cool next thing is you need to have your text win text so here is a win text put it on top or anywhere you want doesn't matter where it is scale it to 30 change it into overflow and of course this thing I'm gonna put white all right nice Clean up the text and then we move on to we're going to save this so put it as demo one done so now for the script all right for the script it's really easy but it's very hard to explain it because yeah it's very hard to explain it but i just try to explain as i can Alright, so for the script, you need to use your using Unity engine the UI because you're going to play with UI stuff. And then you're going to have this variable, which is a random value, integer random value, time interval, score routine, final angle, win tax, section, toggle angle, and the price name of the array. Right. So here is what we're going to have the variable. The next thing is you need to put the coroutine assign it as true because the coroutine is used for the user to spin the wheel so when the game start the user will not spin the wheel so it, start, it's, it will be set as true and then you're going to calculate the total angle because this total angle we use to set up your scene all right just put it here here total angle 360 section because you're going to divide your wheel into the section that you have let's say if you want to use 24 section of wheel so it will calculate your wheel and slice it in 24 because you're going to use this angle to check the price okay so in update you're going to put the input guess mark guess mark get mouse button is zero which is your left hand click and of course the condition is coroutine so when you click once the coroutine is set to false and then you, you, you will not able to spin it again until it stop so to spin a win just use start coroutine spin and now here is what you're gonna have you need to declare the I enumerator spin and then when you click a spin it will turn the score thing to false like I said and then the user cannot spin it and then when you when the spin function have been run into update function what it does is you're gonna get the random value which is it used to spin the wheel 
how many times it's spin the wheel it depends on the random value so if they get 250 so it will spin 250 times and start to get the price so that is how basically it works and the time interval is to use for uh, the smooth or the movement speed of the wheel you're gonna play around for this experiment I just put 0 0.001 to get the smooth and then of course you can play around with this value and then after they get the random value it start to spin the wheel according to how much random value that they have let's say you have 250 so we will loop 250 degree and move it 250 time and then stop but I don't want to the wheel to stop suddenly so I just added this condition to make it uh, stop slowly <laughs> just like that okay and then after they stop they will get the total angle which is the final angle that is stopped and then if they stop between the two price it will toggle up a little bit and then to do that just use this function all right and it will toggle up a little bit so after they stop the program will get the final angle and then this final angle is used to check the price so for the check price just use this loop all right okay so after that the coroutine going to set to true because you're going to spin it next time after they stop so that's all this how it work i'm gonna take i'm not going to explain it too much time because yeah i know you want you want to make it easier simpler so yeah if you don't have time to copy this thing i'm going to provide it in the my by description below so never mind so after you have a script you're going to set it into your wheel and then here is some field that you need to uh, fill up win tax just drag your tax right there section how much you how much price on your wheels so for this purpose is eight just put eight and of course you're gonna put eight for this price name and I fill up all the price name from top to clockwise so eight start starting with eight one two three four five six seven just like that now you're ready to go spin it just click it will spin and then stop yeah four spin again And then you will get this five so how about if you want to make another wheel that have more price or less than here just very simple you need to set up your swing sprite change it into whatever wheel that you want let's say you want you are gonna have 12 12 slice just go to change everything you have here so change the section to 12 change the price to 12 and then starting off fill up the price from the top to the clockwise but be aware of this if you have a sprite that which is your arrow is stopped exactly on the line you need to adjust your arrow so to adjust it make sure it goes for the first price right there just right there rotate a little bit go right there okay and then it will work fine I'm I'm uh I'm pretty sure it will it will work fine. So let's that let's try it out. So start from now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's all. So I think it will work very well. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So that's all guys for Lucky Spin. I hope you like it and uh, I'm very sorry because I'm not really fluent in English to explain enough for you. But yeah, I think the, the script it should work just if you follow my uh, step it will work fine and uh yeah if you want to copy this script 
I will provide link in my bio description and uh, of course I will provide also the project of this uh, lucky spin. So there's it guys, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.